ladies and gentlemen, a man that you may, you've, you've rarely comes in the shoulder. He's rarely in the shoulder. He's a, uh, people have called him the Susan Boyle of the comedy world. Please give a massive round of applause for Mr. Danny Corley! Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Please to welcome you. I hope you've enjoyed the S Factor, the shitey singing factor with all the shite singing that's been on, but I will be here for the next 10 minutes telling you jokes. Whether they offend you or whether they don't, I don't give a shit. Now, it's all meant, it's all meant and good fun. Now, without further ado, today, I found out three things about myself. One, I'm going to be a dad. Two, I'm going to be an uncle. And three, my sister's not in the pill. <laughs> I also read in a magazine the other day, I thought to myself, why did Prince Charles marry Camilla? Was it maybe because that's what Diana looked like after the accident? <laughs> you at the front there, Cheryl. Do you use little because you're worthless? <laughs> because you're worthless, Steve, you fat Yorkshire twat. <laughs> Now, the only time I want to, the only time I want to see Jerry Halliwell draped in a Union Jack is as a casualty of war. <laughs> this is my mate Arnie, but he's also Arnie too. He's good bipolar. <laughs> Jack Tweed, in record, had a two-week marriage where by his. Wife got prettier dinner by the time, but her fanny got tighter as time went on. <laughs> Laugh, you bastards. <laughs> when I was eight, I liked Michael Jackson. I didn't know at the time, but I was his type. <laughs> Six. Two more when I move my bike. <laughs> As you'll probably know, my mate Matt Bird, rugby player, kicked the cup final. Boomed, won the own cup. He's a tight bastard. He dropped a pound coin the other day and he bent down to pick it up and it hit him in the back of the head. <laughs> he never goes out with a pound coin. <laughs> I walked into the show the other day and only Bob was behind the bar. And he said, Danny, you're putting the beef on. And I said, that's right, every time I shag June, she makes me a sandwich. <laughs> what do Imogen Thomas and Fernando Torres have in common? Both of them used to be fucking good footballers. <laughs> I was just lying in my bed the other day and I heard bang, bang, bang. I thought, what in the blazes could that be at nine in the morning? And I heard bang, bang, bang. So I got up to answer the door in my boxers. Went down and it was a window cleaner. Shouting and swearing. Couldn't believe him. I thought to myself, you've lost the fucking rag. <laughs> Attention. <laughs> Just been at the local Indian, had curried pelican. It wasn't too bad, but the bill was fucking enormous. <laughs> anyway, we're moving over to football, which fat Yorkshire twat in brackets, Steve Dixon won't like. What does a Rangers football fan do when his team wins the European Cup? I will repeat. What does a Rangers football fan do when his team wins the European Cup? I'll tell you what he does. Turns off his PlayStation and goes back to bed with his sister. <laughs> Shh, 
ali... <laughs> tension please, tension. I was walking in London the other day and it started pissing the rain. Absolutely pissing down the rain. So I took shelter in a sex shop. I paid 50 quid to get in, Robin bastards. Only to be confronted by three doors which said black, brunette or blonde. I chose the brunette one. Well, I've got bad eyesight anyway. Okay. <laughs> so I walked through the door only to be confronted by big tits, small tits or medium tits. So obviously I chose big tits. Went through the door only to be confronted by another three shitey doors saying small fanny, medium fanny oh or wet fanny. God. I walked through the door that said wet fanny and I found myself back out in the fucking rain. <laughs> Carlos Tevez is the latest footballer to take out a super injunction. Apparently the birdie shag didn't want to be named. <laughs> Where did I come from? Partly Imogen Thomas has started a singing career. Um, she wanted to play down speculation with her footballer, so she's been doing gigs in and around the country. <laughs> <laughs> Following FIFA's disregard about the FIFA shite the football shite, they've decided to adopt Scotland's approach and never enter the World Cup again. <laughs> that was courtesy of Steve Dixon. <laughs> Fat young so twat. <laughs> you see, I don't understand myself why shops in Glasgow, um, they sell about a thousand baseball bats a year, but yet yeah, no baseballs. <laughs> Jordan, Jordan and Peter Andre fighting in a major custody battle, bitter custody battle over, over young Harvey. Um, Eventually, one of them will lose and have to keep him. <laughs> the East End of Glasgow is like the Olympics, full of foreigners in tracksuits struggling to speak English. I was reading an article in the Financial Times the other day when I seen the headline, Fanny May Collapse, I thought to myself, Surely Kerry Catone is not pregnant again. <laughs> As the plane lands into Glasgow, passengers are reminded to put their watches back 25 years. <laughs> Recent surveys show that 3 out of 10 men have a premature problem with ejaculation. I suppose the rest just didn't realise. <laughs> Nobody thought Mel Gibson could play the part of a Scot, but now look at him. He's a racist and an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> My mate Frankie, the lad here, he's always in the pub every week. Oh, sorry, every week. Sorry, I meant every night. <laughs> Laws, Mark Lawrence, Frankie, we'll know who he is. Well, apparently he ran over a sheep the other day and he came in the pub all distressed. He'd killed a sheep, didn't even know what to do. And he told me the story, and all I could hear was, Bastard. Marriage is a wonderful yeah, thing, but bad. then again, so is a bicycle repair kit. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true, Dabby. Pippa Middleton's arse is like a JK Rowling book. Harry's going to be in it at some point. <laughs> This one's for Robert Spurrier. What do you call a prostitute with no legs? Cash and carry. <laughs> Tommy Cooper died on stage doing what he did best. Steve Irwin died in the ocean doing what he did best. Frankie, don't have a wank tonight. <laughs> For listening, I hope you've had a good time. I hope you've listened to the songs pretty well because, to be honest, the songs that I heard from the contestants were pretty shit. <laughs> but I hope you've had a good time, and without further ado, I'm gay and I've got a bad eyesight. <laughs> Thank you.
Uh, Emily Melodoni, looking ream, smelling ream, being ream. <laughs> Ew, Della, you look so hench. <laughs> Steve Dixon had a job the other day. He just started a new job. Probably the best thing he's done in his life, the lazy bastard. <laughs> Dave Roy's up from the shoes. When do you ever see that? Prick. <laughs> Apparently it was racist jokes. He was coming up to see the racist jokes, but if any jokes been racist, Dave? Why are you wearing blue if you're a Celtic fan? I'm not. I'm not I work for Domino's Pizza. <laughs> I need a free paint on the house. And here it's too expensive, so I might go down the shoes. Anyway, anyway I'll pass you back over to Dave the Tip. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our very own Mr. Danny Collins!